Welcome back to another day on the Lorcan kind of Pixel Boring Client. Yes, I'm wearing my shirt for a third day in a row, don't you know? <laughs> uh, recorded five videos, straight ahead. You guys probably already know this bit, uh, especially if you watch every day. You beautiful people watching every single day. You're the guys that make this channel work, you know? Uh, I am slowly losing my voice doing these intros, <laughs> so we're gonna work through this quickly. Somebody else out there, Pale, uh, wants to make villains work as much as I do. Specifically, Hades, King of Olympus. When I saw this list, I knew this had to be played at some point on the channel. Because I I really want Hades, King of Olympus to work. Spoilers. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, this deck's a lot of fun, though. It cares about your items. Uh, popsicle, fishbone. Uh, mainly for ramping, funny enough. This deck ramps hard. Bell, Winnie the Pooh, Fishbone Quill. We are ramping very quickly with this deck. We're drawing lots of cards with Hiram Flavorsham, which is really nice. Uh, we can battle Evasive with the Cruella Deville, And then we have Spot Removal in Hades and our Let It Goes. Also at the top end, running the Tamatoa. Uh, Tamatoa with the items is very powerful. That 8 butt on him is very difficult to deal with and Tamatoa and Hades both have this ability where they gain more and more lore that they can quest for based on a certain number of things for Tamatoa it's items for Hades it's villains so you best bet we are running a healthy number of villains in the deck so we can win with Tamatoa or we can win with Hades let's jump in and see which one wins us games Ooh. Emerald Steel discard or damage Go in first, that's nice. Oh, and I got shift queens. Okay. Uh, my ramp doesn't look super great. I'm gonna actually put Hades back. I like everything else though. Double Winnie the Poohs. I like the quest for two on Winnie the Pooh. Don't like that it takes from my hand, which I just found out in the last game. <laughs> or last couple of games, wherever, wherever it was. All right, let's lose a queen and play a queen. Pass the turn. Part of it says greetings. I shall say greetings. Cheshire Cat. The Floodborne character. Okay, basically everything I play just trades with Hook. Pass turn. That was another Floodborne character, so this is going to be a discard deck for sure. I won't hesitate to quest. Ooh, I don't like this. You're gonna ruin my curve, game. Am I gonna be able to get to heal? No, everything has three toughness. So Rapunzel. The only thing that could heal is Rapunzel. But Rapunzel doesn't heal Rapunzel, unless I have multiples. I'm gonna go for the Winnie the Pooh. I've yet to get the big Hades, unfortunately. Not doing so hot on villains at the moment either. We got the shift. You're gonna give me the ramp? Let me ramp in exchange for drawing a card? Takes out the queen. I think that's fine. Wasn't doing anything. I'm going to ink you. I'm going to play Hades and get Queen back, and I'm going to save Queen as another ink target. And now Jafar will be taken care of. Alright, he'll take out Winnie the Pooh. Hades will, take, Hades will trade. Still technically a two for two, because they shifted onto it. But they get card draw, so they definitely get the advantage out of this over I. Opponent's doing a good job of keeping their hand full, though. Got the Storm Rage on and Jafar, great cards. Oh, I think we are definitely taking out the Jafar here. Let's ink that. Let's develop a queen. 
Let's see if I don't quest. They quest and they get to take it out anyway. So we're definitely questing. Quest for two, right? Yes, two. Ooh, I got a sniper. Oh, and they have a smash. Okay, opponent just has removal for days. Question is, will they take out the Grand Matala? Okay, cool. I don't even need to draw an Inkable now. Gaston? I'll snag a Hades. And we're going to pass the turn here. I like the idea of being able to get Popsicle down, followed by Judy Hops to get uh, additional card draw. And I suspect opponent's going to use a Let the Storm Rage on here to finish off the Gaston. Oh, a Swords. Huh. <laughs> totally fine with that. <laughs> Ooh, a little rough. I have to give up my draw power. I think we give up the Judy. We're going to go Hades. And the reason we're doing that is so I can keep a Popsicle with a Tomatoa. Take out your big quester. Now if Robin Hood wants to actually do some ping damage, he's going to have to pay for it. With his life! My opponent's going to go for the multiples. Let's see if I can't top deck another Hades! I cannot! <laughs> Tomatoey. Let's see, they attack for four. They ping me for one, which untaps him. I mean, it's a trade across the beast if they want to do it that way. And I think I'm more than happy to have that. And if not, I will be happy that I'm staying in it with the lore race. Okay, they're just going to go for the lore race. Now it's Beast. Oh, they got a Storm. That's nice. So they're going to get a lot of... A lot of value out of this. Going to go for Hades, interestingly enough. That means they can quest one more time with Beast safely. At a minimum, of course. Could be more damage in their hand. Here comes the Hood. Oh, one damage to Tamatoa. Spreading the love. Here's the question. Do they got another source of damage? Because if they do... Okay, Beast gets to untap thanks to that. And another Hood Boy. Let's nuke that. Let's nuke this. I know questing gets me a thing, but... And that may have been worth it. But that let the let it let it go. Let it snow. <laughs> totally changed how that how that turn was gonna go. Hades grabs a Hades. That'll deal with Beast next turn. Oh, did I not have another item? I don't have another item. Uh, I thought it, I, I inked it. For some reason, I thought it was in the graveyard, but I, I inked it. Let's see. They can get four more damage on Tomatoa. So we'll let the Storm Rage on. We'll take care of it. But they are trading their board to do it. Swords isn't bad. Takes out most of my board. Okay, Robin Hood gets to now take out a character. Likely the Hades. Yep, because it attacks the biggest. Ooh, that was a little bit of a mistake, wasn't it, opponent? Now I get to freely take out the beast, and Hades gets to take out the Tinkerbell. Bell. 
and I have a fishbone quill to re-pump up Tomatoa. And also a card in the graveyard for Tomatoa to get back. Okay, things are looking pretty decent. Opponent definitely has card advantage in hand though. Alright, they're gonna go for Tomatoa, right? He's definitely my big boy. They're like, yeah, if I hit Tomatoa and I play the swords, then at least I take out two characters. That's what they're thinking. Ooh, they hit the Hades. Interesting. There's the swords. They don't have another swords, though. I would love to get another popsicle off the top. And I'd be protected from uh, their second swords. The question is the hood. Do they get the extra point to ensure the death of something? They do. All right, I can't save the Hades anyway. There's the Popsicle. Popsicle will protect me from the second swords. Well, let's just filter this. Oh, it's a Hans! Okay, that's not even scary. I will still do it because they can draw damage. So we're still gonna heal. What a wild game! <laughs> They really blew through all the- they had a ton of- see? Oh, ho, ho, they did have a swords. They top decked it, but that's exactly what we were playing around. Let's get the popsicle back. We're gonna pop it again. We're gonna keep this Tomatoa alive, baby. Alright, no extra damage for you. Opponent is top decking, and I'm sure they're, we're about to see them concede. <laughs> Man, I wanted to get my King of Olympias, but I did not. Let's try to get a King of Olympus. I did not get a King of Olympus! Alright, uh... You will replace yourself, so maybe... Oh, what happened? Did I misclick it? I may have misclicked it. That's fine. Misclicks happen. Another Hades. Well, it's not the Hades I'm looking for, but... <laughs> I did say I was looking for Hades. Oh, there he is. There he is. I have to play him. Just so I can say I played him during this game. Aha! <laughs> Lemon Lime. Second. Alright, well, the Nothing to Hide will go a long way to letting us know what kind of Lemon Lime they are, so I will hold on to that. Ooh, I just wish our curve wasn't so high. We need to get to our Inkables quickly. It's okay that the curve is high as long as we can find some ramp. There we go, Fishbone's huge. Alright, let's see how fast they commit to the board. That'll be the difference between a nothing to hide and a queen. Hmm, looks like it's going to be a queen. Fast turn. Mad Hatter. Alright, it is looking like an aggro deck of sorts, but an aggro attacking deck with Megara? Interesting. I think I just want to get stuff on the board. Yep, 
The other option was to shift there, but I don't know if I really wanted to shift. Right? The thing they inked was an attack booster. Megara is an attack booster. So I shift queen and quest. And then they attack boost Megara and it takes down my queen? I don't think so. I don't think so. Pixelborn 536E5475EC90. An attack booster. Aha! Perfectly predictable. Alright, opponent cares about their attack power being raised. So there's definitely pains and there's definitely Pete's in their deck. Pain, Pete, party. Hmm, I need to be able to get something down that can take some damage so I can draw some cards. But with their attack raising, I'm not sure we're actually going to get there. So if that's the case, I actually think Fishbone goes away and Winnie the Pooh comes down. He'll still provide some ramp. It's a little slower, but he's not going to deplete my hand to do it. If I'm going to struggle to draw cards in this matchup, I don't want to deplete my hand to get my ramp. I mean, as much as I can anyway. Still another turn away from Pete being an issue. So what do they play on four? This is the weird version of a green Fossa deck. Just another pain. Panic. Now the question is, do they quest? Probably. Oh, they're going to rush something else out. Nope, they just played it to play it. Okay. <laughs> weird. Yeah, opponent gave me the whoops. I think it's time. Oh, it's from my hand. Dang it. But I can hit the guest on. I thought he was off the top of the deck. There's too many tops versus in your hand characters. Gets confusing at times. I could just trade. We get Bell down. Ink a poo. I can ink again if I would like. But I think I want to keep my cards. Getting a queen down could mean taking down a Pete. Or at least stopping Pete from doing stuff. For fear that queen will take him out. Hmm, do I put Bell in danger? I don't think so. I think Winnie the Pooh attacks. They'll both be tapped. Bell won't technically be in range of death, so let's actually attack with her. We'll quest with Pooh. We're going to deny his ability. Yes, I could have drawn cards first and maybe we used it, but I think I just want to have more cards in hand. Okay, there we go. I got another Rapunzel. That's good. I'm going to keep the cards in hand. I do want more ink. Grandma Tall is going to be good for that. Grandma Tall is also good for just being on the field and questing indiscriminately. For whatever reason, my opponents don't like to attack it. <laughs> the Cusco is an issue. So I do need to get a queen down. Yep, yep. Queen needs to come down ASAP. Or oh, never... I can't target... Can't target Cusco with Hades. So I still need to get Queen down ASAP. It's the only way I'm going to take down the Cusco. I think we're just questing with Bell. She eventually could get to five, but I think, she, you know, just staying relevant in this game. Queen will make it so Cusco's not an issue. I can trade whatever character I want with it. I'm getting close on the bell, but I don't know if it's going to be close enough. So bell might actually be the thing that attacks Cusco. Unless, of course, they take out bell right here. Alright, they're going to quest. Oh, you're going to bounce bell. I think that's fine. 
I think you were supposed to bounce the queen. Ah, interesting. Good, good play, opponent. Good play. Still can't target, and I don't have enough attack power. So they're going to go to 19. I mean, less than that. I'll take out the dock. I'll Hades the panic. Okay, Little Queen, not so bad. Okay, I think this is pretty straightforward. First, Rapunzel attacks. And I'll draw a ton of cards off of that. Get rid of the Cusco. Gets rid of my Hades. Now we'll quest. Let's ink something. Let's play a bell. Let's ink something else. Still only questions. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Nine, because they take out Winnie the Pooh. There we go. I think that's I think that's game. Unless the opponent drew something pretty stellar off the top. Not gonna do it. Good game opponent. Navigating this uh, attack manipulation. The uh, world's greatest criminal mind was a uh, sweet play with the panic. Ooh, a removal deck. That's not fun. Let's destroy them. <laughs> no, we're going second. We've <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> we're going second. Okay, there's a lot of ramp though. Let's get rid of the uninkables and really play into that. We'll just be top deck champions. Oh, and there's the Hades. No way we get to keep a board though. The opponent's running grab your swords and be prepared. So he's never going to get to do anything. So he's definitely going to be inked to the fishbone quill. All right, I will be questing with Queen, unless the opponent plays like Prince Eric or something. I'm happy to ink the big Queen. Huh, I also have a situationally evasive character with 3-2. We're going to see, uh, no, Dreadnought comes down on four, so we're not going to see the shift. An evasive deck? Or just coincidentally, they happen to be running minis and it looks like an evasive deck. I know they want the trade. I know they want the trade. If we're not careful, they're just going to hit us with some damage. So it could be a very important turn for taking that down. Let's see, my turn. I can ink to five, ink to six. So they're going to get some use out of that mini mouse. All right, let's pass turn. Let's just keep the pressure on. That mini doesn't feel so great when it can't safely quest. And they do have the damage. We knew that was a possibility. They are playing the removal, both removal colors. <laughs> All right, we're going to get here him down. Ink poo. Play the bell. Pass the turn. Going pretty heavy on this getting to 10 ink thing. Quite risky. It can fall apart pretty fast. It 
is evasive. It's an evasive uh, Donald Duck deck. Unfortunately, I gotta take out the Donald Duck. Because that's the guy that gets out of hand. If they have the Dreadnought, then I'm just losing Bell. Hmm. That's tough. Oh boy, it's a Hercules. Now I got a lot of problems. I have a lot of problems and not very many good solutions. Okay, it's got resist too, so Hercules doesn't take down, or Hades doesn't take down Hercules, funny enough, but this Hades does. But I wanted to play against their stuff, and it looks like we're not going to be getting the 10 ink. A risky play. I just don't have the card draw for it. I needed my Rapunzel so I could safely attack in with Bell and then heal it and draw a bunch of cards. Okay. I'm not upset by that. Alright, at this point we're just playing everything. Hoping for the best. We'll see if this is a race I can win. Huh. <laughs> nice top deck opponent. Nice top deck. We are playing against pure removal. And our deck, funny enough, really, really wants to uh, go wide. Okay. Okay, so reduce your attack. Pump your attack. I will still take some damage on this, but the Maui dealt with. Okay. Might be able to get out of it. Oh, opponent's got the board wipe. Okay. Well, I'm those are I don't have many answers, so I need to hold on to my answers when I can. It was almost looking good for a hot second, and then my opponent went ahead and <laughs> played a be prepared. And I'm almost positive that that card is also a be prepared. Okay. Just trading it for card draw. I get it. All right, we know opponent runs the board wipes. So we're not going to commit any more to the board. But we, so we want to make them earn it. There it is. That's why we don't commit too much to the board. It's only two board wipes gone. All right. Third board wipe. Cause why do you not, why would you not have it? <laughs> oh, these games, man. All right, a hundred percent they have the fourth board wipe. Okay, Lady Tremaine. Uh, Rapunzel could take more of a beating. Plus if she does take a beating, there should be three more, two more Rapunzel's in the deck. Could be exactly what I need to take the advantage. Maui and a Swords. Alright, gotta be careful here. Can't even afford to quest. Ooh, that's not good. It's 
See if I can find a way out of this. Ooh, I don't got a way out of this. Alright, opponent's gonna get a quest for victory here. Nothing can sing. All my removal's expensive. I mean, I could probably find an answer, I just can't use the answer. No, I couldn't even find an answer. Brutal. Let's dig anyway. Still no answers. Alrighty then. <laughs> Green steel again. Ooh, get to go first. Okay. Hmm. Hades can go. Can I ramp the Tomatoa? Or am I going to use the items with Flavorsham? Well, let's find out, shall we? Double Tomatoa. What I like about Tomatoa, if opponent's playing a damage deck, Tomatoa is hard to deal with. Alright, we're gonna dump one and play a popsicle. That's plus attack. But it could that I mean largely just be a filter card. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm definitely gonna go for the fishbone. I think the item strat is just a little more consistent with, based on having the Hulk the Hiram and the Tomatoa versus the Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh gets the quest though. Donald Duck is very indicative of a discard strategy. No Bucky though, that's good for me. Fishbone, so far, looking okay. Another Donald down. See a Prince John? Yep, got a Prince John. But it will be attacking our hand. It's a little unfortunate. So I think we have to play the Hiram and give up the Tomatoa strategy. Ooh. Bell as well. Draw some cards. It's the one thing our opponent doesn't want us doing. Ink and ink. All right. It's possible we could get to a Tomatoa. I think we're giving up Bell. Just in case opponent plays something crazy. But they have to pay for that particular one, which is a little unfortunate for them. So it costs their whole turn. Cannons. Alright, I think we just go for Tomatoa. Draw some more cards. I mean, it gives my opponent a little advantage with that Prince of John, but... Alright, moment of truth. Yep, we'll get rid of a Hades. I'd love to get both popsicles down. That'd be fantastic. There's some damage and here's the removal. They got to ring the bell for next turn. I am sure of it. So we're gonna have to pop a popsicle. Never mind. Got a Rapunzel. Let's 
get rid of a fish bone. All right, that's three damage on Tamatoa now. That's three cards drawn here. Look at that, the discard deck is not discarding. <laughs> That is fantastic. Okay, so they can discard two cards. Two tanks, a beast, two discards, and a smash. Damage, damage, damage. Discard, discard, draw. May as well keep it going. They didn't have ring the bell. Fast turn. That was pretty good. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna win this one. Not to get too ahead of myself. Things can fall apart out of nowhere, though. Good news is all of their big stuff, their big threats, I have Hades. And that big stuff doesn't have Ward. I actually think we're in a pretty dominant position. They can make us discard two things, so a Gaston and probably a Rapunzel. Just hold on to all of my removal. Right, that's definitely Gaston. Surprised they didn't sing it, just to be efficient and get more plays down. That's a card they drew. Mm, you have a feeling... Well, Rapunzel is going to replace itself when we see a Tinkerbell. And that's really important in games like this. Okay, opponent does nothing. I will take it. Oh, Bell's going to be huge. Alright, Bell is active. Question is, how much more do we want to commit to the board? That's probably it. I mean, I have lethal in play. I have exactly questing for 10. Questing for 11. Oh, that's right. He has one plus two. I saw the two and I just counted it as two. Got your targeted removal for that bell? That's one way to take out the discard deck. Just draw cards faster than they can discard you. <laughs> All right. Even with Prince John, still totally worth it. Ruby Amethyst. Continuing with the shirt. <laughs> okay. This Sunday, guys. This Sunday is when we will be giving away that booster box and the raffle prizes for the Patreon. I hate this hand. I'm gonna keep the cheapest thing, just in case. <laughs> Not looking good. <laughs> looking very ungood. This is an awful hand for this, for this play. Oh no! Okay. I mean, I could use the nothing to hide, but I already know what's in my opponent's hand. It's garbage. Bounce the Olaf with your snake. No! What is happening? <laughs> okay, well, there's that. I uh, could have kept that. Fast turn. My deck on the surface likely looks like a healing deck to my opponent, but it is a villain's deck. I would love to get King of Olympus to actually work consistently. I just don't know if it's ever going to happen. Look at all those Mauis. That's gross. I think I'm still just shifting though. Just to have it. 
I mean, I play Let It Go, it's tapped. I ramp them, they play Maui. Not a great play. Hmm, do I ramp beyond reason or do I go for a Hiram? I think we go for a Hiram. And we sacrifice the queen to get rid of the goat. I know they got snake in hand. It's not the best feeling in the world. Now we're not going to see a trade. We're likely going to see a Maui. I just don't know if we ever win this particular matchup. We definitely don't win it with the opening hand we had. Well, with that quest, we can draw a bunch of cards. More than two. Still trades with Maui, which is great. Got a lot of bells. Is there a way I can play this game? into bell victory. Seems very unlikely. We know my opponent's got a lot of rush attack. They have board wipes. They have Maleficent Dragon in hand. They get the Maui trade, which is nice. I know they have a second Maui. Okay, now I don't know that they have another Maui in hand. Lady Tremaine, that's fine. They don't have enough to Fox bounce Tremaine and replay Tremaine. So they need another one if they want to pull this over on me. I think we start with this. So I can ink one of these uninkables. That's pretty much... I can still ink. Heck, let's do it again. Not the best. Another Lady Tremaine is pretty much game over. I don't think we ever won this game. A third Maui gone. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we even had a hope of winning this particular matchup. The Ruby Amethyst. Alright, well... There's an inkable. We're gonna get rid of the Madam Mim, because it can just tank the bell, and I don't want it to tank the bell. This way, at least the other two have to attack. Let me guess, fourth Maui. <laughs> no, they got the dragon online now, don't they? They do. They have dragon online. Unless they're stuck with a bunch of uninkables, that would be hilarious. Pretty sure they still have a snake in hand, though. I think that's what they're debating. Do they bounce? Oh, okay. No dragon. I think they're hoping I go crazy? No, it was the shadow. Not sure they had the shadow. But I'm sure they were thrilled to get it. Last card in hand is dragon. Okay, I need to slow down opponent. Dragon will come down and take out a Hades. My opponent is really far ahead and they're questing for two every turn. So we're, we're neutral right now. I don't have a way to take down the dragon. Now they're just way ahead. Gross, gross, double gross. It was an awful opening hand for this particular game, too. All 
All right, opponent's questing for four, and then I can't deal with the spell book, so <laughs> that will be game over. Oh, gross. Man, opponent's just going for, going for the throat here. There's a reason this was the last game of, of this video. Because <laughs> that was nasty. I won't even play my turn. Yes, opponent, just keep playing cards. Why not? Yeah, do the long way to victory. 